How's it going? I'm Ida Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay. Um, so I'm planning to do something a little bit unusual this week. Um, the main reason for that being there are two kind of exciting things or exciting for me things that I want to talk about. But they are like so completely unrelated to each other that I don't necessarily want to make them the same vlog. It may end up being that I don't have enough to talk about for either and they, they end up, or I don't have enough to, to talk about for one or I don't have enough to talk about for the other. And they end up becoming one vlog. Um, but they, like, at this moment in time, as I sat down to start filming the first one, the plan is to make them two separate vlogs. Um, but to upload them on the same day as basically being part of the same vlog. Um, why do I want to do this rather than separating it out over two weeks, which is something that I could definitely do. Um, I feel like they're both very relevant to, well, one, <laughs> one is going to get less relevant the further away, uh, further we get away from the event that's happened. Um, the other is going to get more and more relevant um, as the weeks and stuff go on. Um, so both of them have good reasons for not waiting. Um, but at the same time, you know, I could just do it as two worlds over two separate weeks. But I feel like I want to capture my thoughts and my feelings about it and how I'm feeling about it like now and today. So it makes most sense to kind of make it two separate vlogs released on the same day um, because I'm not going to change what I'm wearing. <laughs> That's the long and the short is. I don't have to change what I'm wearing and I'll do like two separate ones and I don't want to have to be like, oh yeah, I filmed two vlogs on the same day, blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I know that's a bit of a confusing reason for doing two unrelated vlogs and releasing them both on the same day, but I get the feeling they're both going to be about the same length each and sort of fairly short ones um, and probably like in total kind of make up the length of like an average length one. So um, to me it kind of makes sense to just sort of like do it like this and see how it works. I, I may do other ones like it in the future. Um, but at the moment, this is like probably the only time I'm ever going to do something like this. So, um, with that said, exciting topic the first. <laughs> so this is part one of the two, or this, yeah. Um, so, uh, I mentioned this a couple of times over the last couple of vlogs, but one of my friends has been in, um, involved in... Uh, a piece of theatrical work um, during August and weekend just gone, so literally two days ago from the time I'm filming this. Um, the performance, well, yeah, it, went over, it went on over the two days, so it went over, on over the weekend, but like the big sort of finale of it was uh, Sunday evening, which I went along and I saw. Um, it was all very exciting, and I've been looking forward to it for a long time, because obviously um, with her being involved with it, I've known about it for longer than a lot of people would have. Um, obviously, she couldn't say anything about it. It's sort of like in the initial stages, um, because you know she she had to sort of like keep it hush hush. Uh, but I did sort of learn up, learn about it I, before a lot of people would have. But I only at, only at the point when she was allowed to sort of talk about it. <laughs> um, so the uh, very exciting event, and um, if you live in Plymouth, you probably already know what it is. But there was a dragon. There was a dragon in the city centre and it was awesome. <laughs> um, so obviously it was a puppet. Um, and the whole event started with uh, the dragon egg and the dragon, the baby dragon coming out of the egg. And then on the second day it was the adult dragon and then at the end of the event the, the dragon took flight. Um, I didn't get much of the flight on video unfortunately. I'm hoping somehow to scab um, some full length video from somewhere, um, somewhere at some point. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to manage to do that because nobody else I know went to the event. I'm kind of hoping my friend's parents were there and caught like that bit of video. 
I'm very disappointed. Like my phone battery died, like literally, literally at the worst possible moment. Um, then I'd been taking so much like film and and pictures and stuff of like the cause I um I couldn't go to the day part of the event on on Sunday because I was working. But I arrived about seven o'clock in the evening. I was just like all the like the things that were going on. I was like taking like pictures and, and stuff. So that kind of is what ate through my battery um, before I could get to the, to the bit that I actually really wanted to film. Um, so yeah, it was <laughs> very much that. Um, like it was a two-day event, and my friend was one of the puppeteers. Um, I know from what she's she's told me, and she's told um, uh, our, the other friend that yeah. Um, she was talking mostly to about it, um, that it was like a really grueling process for, for them going through and, and getting selected for it. So there are a lot of people who kind of auditioned for, for it who, who didn't get selected. So she, she's, but she was very fortunate to sort of get through. Um, and I personally, I, cause I, I saw her on both days, I personally think she did an amazing job. Um, I think all the puppeteers did an amazing job. It was, it was spectacular to see. Um, I don't think like the footage that I've got necessarily does it justice um, in in a lot of ways. Um, and like I, there, like this annoying thing kept happening with my phone camera as well. I was like I'd hit the record and it wouldn't start recording, and I was like, ah, oh, I missed the bit that I actually wanted to get, and then I would like um, the drag would stop moving again, and I was, I was like, no. <laughs> um, I did manage to get like quite a few like really nice photos. Um, on the first day of the event, I was more concentrating on um, getting videos specifically of my friend, and on the second day of the event, I was more focused on getting videos specifically of the dragon. Um, and I kind of wanted to sort of do it that way around, um, just because you know I, a lot of the reason why I was there was to support my friend because um, she's amazing, and I you know really want her to do well in her pursuit of her career of being an actor and. You know, just things like this and events like this going on so sh to show your support, especially when it's like a free event as well. It's like, it's not, you know, it doesn't put you up, put you out, doesn't put you out, um, it doesn't cost you anything. It, you know, and then it's an amazing thing to sort of support them and pull something like this, as I said, because in, you know, in the long run, you know, this could be the steps that she needs in order to sort of um, get her career on the track that she wants it on. Um, so, you know, it's incredibly supportive of that. I mean, I care about my friend anyway, so. Um, the second reason is there was a dragon. Like, there's a dragon in the city centre. Why would I miss that? <laughs> um, but yeah, I spent, like, um, um, like, just talking to everybody going, there's going to be a dragon this weekend, and my friend is one of the puppeteers, you need to go see it, you need to go see it. <laughs> Which I didn't tell her when I, when I saw her. Um, I, I got a little bit of a chance to sort of see her on um, on the Saturday. I didn't get a chance at all on the Sunday. Um, the flight part of the event wasn't until just after nine o'clock, and I was working yesterday, which is Monday. Um, and you know, my my start time is eight o'clock. Um, so like nine o'clock is usually sort of when I want to go to bed and it is like about a 20 minute walk from the highway back to mine. So I saw, I saw the dragon take off, which was fantastic. Um, I saw a little bit of the flight. I didn't stay to the end of the event though, uh, because I did really need to get home and, and go to bed and go to sleep. Um, especially because I no longer had a way of tracking the time because my, my phone had died. Um, I got home just before 10 o'clock. Um, I messaged my friend to let her know that, you know, uh, I, I wasn't able to stay to the end of the event, which I had initially been hoping, um, I was hoping, you know, it, I think if things are sort of like, because uh, I think there was a little bit of a delay um, at nine o'clock, um, which was when the, the flight was sort of planned to take place, um, I think it sort of ended up being about five, ten minute delay, um, I think if I hadn't been for that, I might have stayed a little bit longer and long enough to sort of see like the, the very main end part of it but um because my phone died and i couldn't get those final shots anyway and i was really annoyed i couldn't get those final shots because oh my god it looked so amazing like even as i, I was walking away I, I would every now and then i would stop and i would turn back and i'd see like how much further out the the dragon had gone and 
it was just it was an amazing view, it really was. Um, the, the dragon going back to its light was just awesome, and I'm so glad that I did get to see as much of it as I did get to see. Um, and so I'm so disappointed that my camera died and there was no way for me to get any final shots or final video because oh, it was just so like it was just so amazing. Um, but yeah, it, it yeah. Uh, I did have to get home and, and go to bed. Um, so when I, when I sort of got in and got my phone on charge, I would sort of message my friend and sort of like, this. I'm sorry I couldn't stay for longer, but I have stupid work in the morning and I have to go to bed. Um, but it was amazing. Um, also because uh, she was involved with a lot of the final section. Um, I think she was also involved with the flight team as well. I'm not sure exactly what she was doing. It was far too dark by that point to, to make out any of the puppeteers. But I know uh, sort of definitely in the, she was definitely involved with like the setting up for, for the final flight. Uh, Cause I did get to sort of catch glimpses of her a few times as she was like moving stuff across and helping out. But there's like a couple of others there that looked very similar and moved. Cause she's got a very distinctive way of moving because of the hypermobility, which, you know, I've also got the hypermobility, so I know I've got a bit of a distinct way of moving, but hers is a little bit more distinct. Um, there are a couple of people there who moved in a very similar way to her, um, and they were, like, about the same sort of height as her, and the same sort of hair colour as her, so from a distance, when I don't have my glasses on, uh, there were a few times where I was like, is, is that her, or is that one of the other ones? Um, and I do know she was definitely involved in that final section because she did mention that she was involved in that final section. I'm just not 100% sure which bits she was doing and when she was doing them because there were only a few times where I could absolutely be certain it was her and not one of the ones that looked like her. <laughs> it sounds really bad, but like as I said, it was getting dark, um, so it was a lot harder to make them out. Um, I am a little bit short-sighted, um, not to the point where I need to wear glasses on a regular basis. Um, I say that. I need to wear them for work, just, and that's literally just so that I can read the, 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 the screen that I need to read from a slightly further distance. Um, but like, for day-to-day -day living, um, usually it doesn't like affect too much. I don't like I don't need to be able to see, because I don't drive, I don't need to be able to see um, from a certain distance, like most of the time, so most of the time it doesn't really, it's not really necessary for me to wear my glasses. Um, one of, that was one of those situations where I think if I'd been wearing my glasses I might have been able to tell which one was her. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it was really, it was a great event. Um, it was, like, especially like when the dragon sort of took off and everybody was like cheering and clapping and I so wish I got that on camera because it was amazing, it was really, really great event. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that is the first of the things that I want to talk about. Um, I'm going to start this video here. Um, if you're interested in seeing part two of this video or the other thing that I want to be talking about that is completely unrelated to this, then obviously move on to part two. I believe I'm going to be, talk be calling these part one and part two. Um, I'm not 100% sure of the vlog number. I can't remember what vlog number this is going to be. Um, yeah, uh, if you decide to see what part two is like, then we will, yeah, it, it will be uploaded um, and ready to go. I might sort of do a delay on it, so this one is up on uh, like five o'clock and the other one gets released at half past. I mean, I know it doesn't make a huge amount of difference because nobody's watching these anyway. <laughs> but, but that is how it will work. Um, so I hope you found this one interesting. I hope you are looking forward to seeing what I'm talking about in part two slash next time. Um, and I will see you. See you. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!